We are delighted to have today Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, John Kerry. We also have moderating the discussion today, Dr. Calder Walton. What are you looking for from the US intelligence community to better inform your decision-making and understanding about climate change as a national and international security threat? You know, I look at the intel and I say to myself, I mean, here, this is the uh, national annual threat assessment of the US intelligence community here. And I go to climate change and environmental degradation. And there's literally one, two, three, four, five, six paragraphs. That's it. That's page is basically, it goes over to the next page with two lines right there. But, you know, what I want to know is uh, two big things. One, I want to know how much that threat is real, how our intel, 17 different entities come together and say, this is the nature, this is really a threat. It's, in my judgment, the biggest non-state actor threat that there is. And if it is all the things that's been described as, uh, we have a lot of planning to do. And the second thing I want to know is, if it is indeed the threat it is, and we have to respond the way we say we're having to respond, I want the intel community to tell me as much as I can learn about what each country is in fact thinking, planning, willing to do. Are they taking it seriously? Are they gaming us? Are they in fact reducing? That's intelligence. That is intelligence. And we don't get that at all anywhere. There's nothing. We, we get kind of these very moderate assessments about or, or really a regurgitation of some of the stuff that's in the newspapers rather than hard intelligence. I think those are the two most important things. I think Avril Haines is now gearing up to try to demand more from the community because it is now at the center of our foreign policy by executive order. But it remains to be seen how the 17 agencies really tackle it or organize themselves. Well, well, John, it sounds like um, both Avril Haines has uh, thrown down the gauntlet for a challenge for the U.S. intelligence community, and now you too. What, what are your thoughts on intelligence sharing uh, between different nations on this threat? In climate, there's a different kind of, of intel. Um, and you still would want to protect your sources and methods, no question about it. Uh, and you should. But you could share judgments made off of some of the more public information and publicly gathered information. And if you have an intelligence assessment based on that, I think it would behoove you to, to share it. Even while Donald Trump was president and was opposed to proceeding forward on climate, the fact is that a thousand plus mayors in America and 37 governors and the DC and District of Columbia all stood up and said, we're staying in the Paris Agreement. And 75% uh, of the new electricity that came online in America came from renewable sources. But the bigger, much more critical answer to that question, why will this not change and why can you trust America? Because just a day or two ago, six banks said they're putting $4.16 trillion into a designated track of investment in climate initiative. And that is over a 10 year period. Uh, that the marketplace is moving so dominantly in this direction. And no politician is gonna come in four years from now with the trillions of dollars that are gonna be invested and the transition of our economy that will be in full swing and suddenly undo that. And the reason that you can't undo it is, it's being done for all the rational reasons. Because we have to, because it's existential, because we have to, because we're gonna pay a huge price, according to every economist, more than doing it. It will cost more not to do it. And we're gonna do it because that's where the market is going to be. And people are gonna make a lot of money in the doing of it. So I don't, and, and people accept that. I don't believe any politician no matter how great a demagogue they are, can undo this transformation that is about to take place. It's been an absolute honor to have you join us, Secretary Kerry. Um, I heard you lay down a challenge to the US intelligence community loud and clear. Secretary Kerry, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much.